Hi, this is Peter Clayton. Welcome to Total Picture Radio. The other day, I met up with Bryn McCagg at the Cafe Centro near Grand Central. Bryn is the co-founder and CEO of Recruitify, and uh, he was on his smartphone, and he was scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and showing me all of these invitations he was getting from uh, VPs of recruiting and uh, HR leaders and uh, CHROs on LinkedIn, and... Um, I decided it would be a good time to have Bryn back on the show. I've been having a lot of fun using uh, Skype video to record some of my interviews, and Bryn was up for it. So, uh, Bryn, welcome back to Total Picture Radio. Peter, it's great to be back, and I'm, I'm glad to see you advance from radio to video. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, the last time you were on the show, Bryn, you were uh, trying to find a decent Wi-Fi connection at, at a motel, I think, near uh, the Grand Canyon. Um, and a lot has changed with Recruitify since then. So bring us up to date. Yeah, I'm glad I have a better connection. I was in the in the Grand Canyon then when we last spoke. I'm now in New York, and Recruitify has made just enormous progress since we last spoke. Um, first of all, just from the company perspective, we've got some offices in Midtown. We have about tripled the size of the firm in terms of employees. Um, the product has just gotten vastly better in terms of the way it works. But most, I think, uh, impressively is um, there's almost a viral effect in terms of companies coming and adopting us. Uh, they're really, quote unquote, getting it. And it's big companies. It's mostly the Fortune 1000 and then recruiters, uh, literally thousands of recruiters from around the world have joined from from big agencies to independent contractors. So we're really on to something that's extremely exciting. That's great. You know, the one of the things we discussed uh, when we met up in New York was a recent article uh, about Recruitify in Newsweek and Kevin Manley wrote. And I'm going to quote from his article, the core purpose of Recruitify is to create an Uberish platform. I like that word, Uberish, uh, for recruiting for the recruiting universe, but there is an intriguing byproduct to Recruitify. Anyone can become a recruiter, much as Uber lets anyone become a taxi driver and Airbnb lets anyone become a hotelier. Uh, you know, Bryn, I have never thought of Recruitify as a platform where anyone can become a recruiter, yet you responded to Kevin by saying there really is no barrier to entry. So can you unpack this for us? Because I'm sure there's a lot of professional recruiters on your platform that would take an exception to someone saying, oh, yeah, anybody can become a recruiter. Yeah, the gist of Kevin Manny's article was that we are already having a huge impact on who, where and when somebody can be a recruiter. And anybody can theoretically sign up for our application. And like I said, we have people, many great recruiters as far away as India, but also lots of big firms in in. Uh, in the United States are signing up their recruiters. Um, the key thing is anybody can sign up for our platform and thousands have, but the application um, forces the recruiters to classify themselves based on their specialization, the roles that they specialize in, the industries and the geographic locations. And we're also, um, we've got a lot of information where we're scoring recruiters based on the quality of the candidates they're submitting and how far those candidates are getting in the interview, recruiting and hired process. And also we measure the, the recruiter's capacity, how many job casts they're getting from us. And we can use all that information. While there might be a lot of people on our site, it's making them more focused and the good ones quickly bubble to the top. And the ones that are not effective are just quickly scored off the system. And, and that's working incredibly well. And we're letting the crowd score them based on the results. Okay, so there's, there is, that, that's part of what the crowdsourcing is all about. Um, I think it would be helpful if we kind of did a uh, rewind here, Bryn, and had you describe to our audience uh, what a job cast is and you know, specifically how the Recruitify platform works. Yeah, the platform it has a similar workflow to Uber, except for ordering a, a, a car, you're ordering a candidate. So companies come in and they can put in a job description and a little bit of addition, additional information and they send hit a button that says job cast. We confidentially send that out and we match it to a very small sub subset of our thousands of expert recruiters. 
again, based on their specialization, on their roles, industry, location, and also based on their score. So good recruiters are getting the same job cast again and again. And they can respond only with up to four candidates. We want value, not volume. We're not looking uh, to, to put in a lot of candidates. And they have to put in complete information. So they have to put in a resume of the candidate, uh, a LinkedIn for the candidate, the cell phone number, an email address of the candidate, and a note. So they have to know a lot about the candidate. And the candidate um, is notified, and they have to confirm their interest, and then they're released to the company. And so typically within about four or five days after sending a job cast, and by the way, it takes about two minutes to send a job cast, companies will get back a stack of 20 to 30 qualified candidates, all of whom have been hand vetted by an expert recruiter, all of whom have complete information to evaluate and contact, and all of whom have confirmed their interest in the job. So it delivers qualified vetted candidates very quickly to be hired. Right. And I, I think what the audience needs to understand is, you know, um, professional recruiters, normally third party recruiters, when they get an assignment to find a, uh, a particular type of a candidate for an employer, they will submit three or four candidates that they have vetted for those positions and who have indicated a willingness to uh, explore those opportunities. And of course, you know, the, the company's going to hire one person. And so that leaves, you know, usually two or three or four additional candidates who are highly qualified that that recruiter has spent a lot of time, uh, you know, d developing relationships with. And so I think that's really sort of the, the, the secret sauce or, or the magic potion that you guys have created in developing Recruitify. Yeah, that, that is, you've hit the nail on the head. What it allows companies to do is create a serendipitous matchup with recruiters out there that either know their industry and the constituents in it extremely well or are doing similar searches or maybe finished a search or had a search canceled. And it's creating an immediate matchup. Somewhere out there, somebody is it knows or is talking to a candidate that matches uh, the open position you're looking for. And and so it's, it's a, really an on-demand. It's a crowdsourcing, a sharing economy application, but it's also an on-demand model where you get candidates almost immediately, um, sometimes within a few hours, but definitely within a few days and, and within the first week. So it's having a powerful effect on the time it takes to recruit. The um, time to fill for most professional candidates uh, over the last several years has somewhere been in between um, three and six months. And uh, there was a recent survey uh, uh, on ERE that pegged the average time to fill at 58.1 days. Do you know uh, with the stats and with what you've been doing with Recruitify, are you shortening that time to fill? Uh, dramatically. Um, and I read an article in the Wall Street Journal that the war on talent recently, and the war on talent is, is bigger than ever. The time to recruit and fill positions at, is at an all-time high, um, and companies are feeling that pain. And recruiting is a moment in time. A candidate, a good candidate is available for a very short period of time. Recruitify is dramatically shortening that cycle. Because again, if you're looking for, let's say, a financial associate in, in, in New York City, somebody else is out there, knows great candidates that are available and interested in making a move. And that's what we unlock, the power of that network. But we do it in a very precise way that when the job cast goes out, it actually is going out to less and less recruiters in our system as we get more data on the good ones and the ones that are effective in certain fields and the ones that have capacity. Um, so it's, it's getting faster and it's definitely getting better with each cycle of usage. You know, to the uh, your your point about how how competitive it's it's getting. Um, I read an article recently where uh, companies uh, like Dice are spending forty thousand uh, dollars in Silicon Valley on billboards, billboards. You know, to try and and recruit tech talent as they're driving, uh, you know, to and from work. You know, and um, you know, given given the fact that that um, there's such a high demand now. I, I think companies are really having to pull the trigger faster now when they're doing interviewing. 
Yeah, companies are definitely in a war on talent. They've got to move quickly. Tech, we're seeing a lot of tech positions on our on our site, by the way. And trying to advertise directly to those candidates, that's that's a that's a big challenge. And even trying to ping them uh, directly is a big challenge. So leveraging the power of that human element, our expert recruiters who are talking to them, have a relationship and can sort of pry loose uh, a candidate who might be interested in a move who otherwise is sitting with their head in their computer programming and not looking around and not responding to, you know, traditional sourcing methods. Um, that's the power of the human element. And the companies that leverage our platform are finding that that is it, it definitely delivering candidates much faster and also delivering candidates um, that are qualified, have been hand vetted. Um, and are ready to make a move. And that's really important. Something else I think would be helpful for you to describe to uh, recruiters who are watching or listening to this interview is is your compensation model, which is very different and quite unique. Yeah, recruiters are signing up in droves and quote unquote, definitely getting it. And the, the model works this way. We administer all the payments. So when a recruiter signs up, if you think about what a traditional headhunter or third-party recruiting agency does, they have to go out and get the business. They have to go out and contract the company. Uh, they have to um, uh, negotiate and communicate, and then they have to go source candidates. So they spend m way more than most of their time uh, on the business side. And what happens is when a, when a hire is made on our platform, we charge a flat 14% fee. We administer it, it's all electronic, um, paid by the company. And we provide a 60 day guarantee to the company. If the candidate leaves for any reason, we'll refund the money or recast the job until it's filled. And at the end of 60 days, we distribute that 14%, 10%, 10 points, 10 of the 14 to the winning recruiter um, that placed the candidate, submitted the candidate that got hired the one, one point we split amongst the runner-up recruiters, the recruiters that submitted good candidates that the company indicated they were interested in, but didn't get hired. So you get paid typically a couple hundred bucks just for you know good candidates. And then we keep three of the 14 points um, at the end of the cycle. So a recruiter, you may say the fees are a lot less than a traditional headhunting, but they're actually doing a lot less work. This is allowing them to focus on what they do best which is focusing on the candidate side of the application um, and less going out and getting new business. And we're feeding them jobs every day. And they're, so they're all, they'll make it up in volume for sure. They already are what they lose in the, in the gross fee. What are you finding is the average comp package uh, that's uh, uh, being offered on Recruitify? Right now we're trending at about $79,000, but that's moved up and it looks like it's definitely continuing to move up I, by the recent jobs coming in from sort of higher end Fortune 500 companies. They're definitely um, exceeding $100,000. So I think it'll, it'll get quite a bit higher. Uh, and we're seeing it uh, interestingly across I mean, there's no, there's a to, to all sorts of industries from manufacturing, energy, technology, banking, media technology, um, and all sorts of roles from store managers to an electrical engineer for a nuclear power plant, to financial associates of private equity firms to uh, top consultants at, at the top consulting firms. Um, it's, it's kind of all over the place uh, that, that it's happening. So it's really working well across lots of industries. You know, when we spoke in June, I think uh, most of the jobs that were on Recruitify at that time were in sort of like the New York metro or, you know, New England area. Uh, has that expanded? Yeah, it's expanded dramatically. And actually, I think when we last spoke, I, I was thinking that we were going to need to remain very focused in the New York area. Um, we've really pretty much gone viral. Um, as I showed you on my LinkedIn, uh, on my cell phone the other day, uh, Fortune 1000 companies are connecting with me, lots of them every day. Um, we are having multiple calls with them um, every single day and they get it. Um, so it really is expanded across um, a, a vast number of industries um, and also geography wise, it's all over the country. I mean, from every part of the country, we're seeing jobs coming in. Have you expanded outside the U.S.? 
from a company point of view right now, there's been a lot of demand. We have not allowed companies that are overseas to send job cash yet. Um, stay tuned. Uh, there is a lot of demand, and we definitely see a market opportunity there. From the recruiter's point of view, um, yes, it's very global. I mean, we have recruiters all over the world. We have quite a lot in India in particular, and they've uh, uh, some of them have been extremely good. So it does open up uh, a global marketplace for sourcing talent. Where do you think Recruitify is going to be a year from now? I think uh, we're going to be a lot bigger, uh, for sure. I mean, the company is growing exponentially at this point, month over month, uh, in pretty much every key metric. So I can say we're definitely uh, going to be a lot bigger. Uh, companies and agency recruiters, uh, by and large, get it, quote unquote, get the value prop, see the value, and are definitely adopting it. And so we're getting incredibly well received in the marketplace. I, I think, it, very importantly, we're also going to be a lot better. So, and what I mean by that is more precise. Um, our platform is all about actually less is more. It's about sending the recruiters not a whole blast of jobs. It's actually about matching the jobs to a fairly small subset of recruiters in our platform that have the expertise, the, the experience, the capacity, and the, and the right score to fulfill the job quickly. And and we can do that. And we're measuring those recruiters and we're driving them into increasing levels of specialization, actually getting them more and more focused. Um, so in some ways, they'd be getting kind of the same jobs often from the same companies. I mean, we have one big company right now that has literally said they have 200 positions for the exact same job. So the recruiter that hits one is going to be very likely to be able to fill that very, very quickly. So that's really good. And then from the company side, you know, typically we will deliver back about 10 to 20 great candidates, all ready, willing and, and able to go and qualified within a week. Um, we want to get that actually down, not less inversely. The idea is when you want to hire somebody, what do you really want? You want five great, maybe five, maybe 10 t great candidates that are qualified, vetted, interested in the job and ready to go. And we can do that using technology and better matching. So the platform is getting better um, with every iteration for sure and delivering better results. Would you say that the majority of the candidates that the recruiters uh, on your platform are presenting are passive candidates, meaning they currently are employed? Uh, yeah, yeah, vast majority. Uh, definitely. Um, the recruiters are going out there and they're talking to the passive candidates, uh, but they know the recruiters, the good recruiters, they're experts in their fields and they want to make a placement and they want to get the best candidate. And um, and so they'll often pry loose um, candidates that are, you know, in jobs and 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 relatively satisfied or not even looking. And I, and I should mention that's really the power of the human element. If you think of recruiting as a marathon, the last mile, there's no substitute for that human element. And the, and the expert third-party recruiter that can call you up and really understand the nuances of the job and your situation at your current job and talk to you about the position, then convince you to essentially be considered for a position, that's very valuable. And that's, that's one of the key value props that our platform does in a very scaled and sustainable way. Is there anything we haven't discussed that you'd like to share with the audience? Well, I think we covered a lot, but uh, yeah, I mean, we've got a really exciting year coming up. I will tell you that um, across around the world, we're, we are getting recruiters signing up in droves. They definitely are getting it, quote unquote. Uh, we're getting them from big, very big staffing firms and headhunting firms are definitely understanding it, um, that this is accretive to their business. Um, and we're bringing those firms business that they never would have gotten. One uh, CEO of a major staffing firm in New York who's been in the, well, he's had the business for two generations. He said he couldn't get, he's seeing the, the, the Fortune 1000 clients coming in and the jobs. And he said, even though he's been in this business for 50 years, his, his company's been around, he couldn't get any of these companies. When they, if he called them up, they would all, they don't want more vendors. They don't want more um, headhunters. Uh, this allows him to get opportunities to place candidates at new clients and make more money, um, which is what recruiters want to do. And for companies, there's a war on town out there and there's a huge 
uh, uh, capacity problem. They just don't have the capacity and the reach to fill these positions. And one big consulting firm uh, that's a current client, they had positions open for five months and we filled them in five days. Doesn't mean they didn't make the hire in five days. We delivered the candidate that they ultimately hired in five days. They actually made the hire in 27 days. So uh, I think they were pretty impressed uh, with those results. And and so I think we've got a really exciting year coming up, and we're having a lot of fun too. <laughs> I've you know I've been just amazed at how fast this market has turned. I mean, last year it was nowhere near as active as it is now, as far as companies out there you know aggressively pursuing candidates. Well, I think we can say we're in a bull market. The you know the the hiring market for sure. I mean, companies are definitely hiring every company I talk to. And, you know, they, they all will tell you there's a limited number of quality candidates that fill these fit these positions that they're trying to fill. They're all after the best. Everybody knows that great talent can make or break a company. And, you know, we're just looking to, you know, provide a platform that can really help facilitate that and become one of their key sourcing channels this is not there's some great sourcing methods they use today it's but this is sort of one component of what i would call a menu of a couple of good options and companies are Mm -hmm. really seeing that and thinking of us as a strategic platform where they will allocate 10 20 or even 30 percent of their jobs and what they call recruitify them it's really becoming a verb (laughs) Um, they're going to recruitify these portions of jobs and that will release capacity for their internal HR and talent acquisition team to do the things that they do best and focus on other parts of the recruiting and HR process. So companies are really seeing the value of this where they can press a button and get a hire right away and they have a fixed, you know, um, uh, measurable cost of, of hire. Uh, so it's really working from their perspective. Um, one last thing, uh, how can people connect with you and with Recruitify? Well, for me, you can go to my LinkedIn account, uh, Bryn McCagg, uh, and certainly connect with me. I'd love to connect with anyone that's interested in this marketplace. And if you want to use Rec- uh, Recruitify, just go to Recruitify, recruitifi.com. And if you're a company, there's a big button that says start hiring. And again, you literally go in there. It'll take you just a couple minutes. To register, and if you have a job description written, you can send a job cast in less than two minutes, and you will start seeing results in a few days. It's pretty simple. Um, you will get a call from an account manager as a company as soon as you send the job cast. So we require that we have a conversation with you first before we release the job cast because we don't want to spam our recruiters without verifying the company. And as a recruiter, um, you'll see in the upper uh, uh, recruitify.com, you will see uh, it says join as a recruiter, and you click there. And as long as you have a re- LinkedIn account as a recruiter, you can just join uh, with one click of a button and you're in our system. And then we ask you to classify yourself based on the roles and in- industry and locations that you specialize in. And the more specific you are, the more specific the jobs will be, which is good, because then you'll have a better chance of uh, winning and, f- and filling the position and making money. Well, Brent, I'm really happy we had a chance to uh, catch up today, and uh, congratulations. I mean, this thing is really taking off. Thanks, Peter. Really appreciate uh, your this interview, and uh, really appreciate your help. So it's been exciting. It sure has, and uh, thanks for doing it on video. This was fun. <laughs> it was good. I like it. We'll do it next All time. All right. Thanks. Well, talk to you soon. Please be sure to visit Bryn's show page in the Talent Acquisition channel of Total Picture Radio. That's totalpicture.com for resource links and more information. And employers, use the Recruitify link on Bryn's show page and Recruitify will waive the $50 listing fee for your first Recruitify job cast. This is Peter Clayton. Thanks so much for tuning in to Total Picture Radio. We appreciate you.